Fuck it. Why not? All right, we're recording. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Half Ass Podcast. This is Tone and Justin. All right, in this episode, we're still shooting the shits. So, Justin, tell me about your Steam Deck. Uh, I got the 512 gigabyte model OLED. <clears throat> God, I wish I had the knowledge to knew what the fuck you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a half a terabyte of storage and it has a fancy screen. That's all you need to know. Your fancy words make my mind wonder. <laughs> God, good lord. Nah, but honestly, I didn't mean, mean to get back into Steam and whatnot. God, I remember me, Alana, just gave me all the time on my PS fucking 2 when I was a young kid. And also, I don't know, like my Nintendo 3DS, you know. Oh, yeah. I still I can't have believe one of those. It. God, I can't believe the Nintendo 3DS has been, it was made them more than 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. It's like a deja vu moment. You know, it's like the things that you grew up in your childhood, you know, you suddenly re- remember them as still a fresh thing, you know. I'm like 25 now, but those fresh childhood moments, I'm just like, God, I'm getting older. Ugh. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, imagine it from my end. Fucking Super Nintendo was the new thing on the block when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, because you're 29 plus 4? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 29 plus 4. Yeah, yeah. And then suddenly, uh, the next thing you know, you're 29 plus 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Do you expect like to keep up that joke with the 29 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 as long as it takes? <laughs> uh, I didn't I didn't plan on keeping up the joke. Matt keeps bringing it back. I mean, it's a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it makes you sound young. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, but by the way, um, tell me about your personal, like, early video game experiences. Uh, my very first game was Super Mario World, and I still got a lot of love for it. I've played that game oh. so many fucking times. Dude, my friend likes to collect like vintage consoles, and he actually gave me a Nintendo 64 for my birthday. Nice. With Super Mario World. God, yeah. Uh, it was so, so fun, you know, trying to get all, through all the le- levels and stuff like that. And on my end, I was lucky because I got YouTube, so I can just watch a lot of gameplays to see how they do it. Yes, I know, it's cheating, it ruins the fun of the experience, but at the same time, I'm just like, hey, if I have a, if I have a way to figure out, you know, I'm going to use it. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, yeah. I like that, but also, I, I would see a lot of people, you know, doing like, uh, you know those speed runs for games like that, the vintage games and stuff? Yep. Yeah, yeah, what do you think of those? <clears throat> I love speed runs, I think they're fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, I would see speedruns. I don't really watch them a whole lot, but at the same time, knowing that there are some people who try to make a certain record on how fast they can go at a certain level, especially with, like, certain techniques and certain glitches that they find in a certain game, I'm just like, huh, that's pretty interesting. I I love watching um, Silent Hill speedruns. Those blow my mind. Oh, dude, yeah. You know what I like watching? Hmm. You know those like uh, I don't know those old school Sonic game speed runs and whatnot. Oh yeah. Dear God, yeah. Them just trying to I don't know use every single like fucking like robot and every single fucking modem and spring in order to make sure that they go the fastest. That takes a whole lot of like memory. It's like a strong memory core and also a strong pattern recognition. Oh yeah. Like that, but also <clears throat> the controls and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It takes some serious yeah. skill to pull that off. Yeah, yeah. Which by the way, um you know I, speaking of that, I also saw like the Silent Hill like gameplay that you and Mago recorded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah God, that kinda reminds me of the Bubsy speedrun that I need to send send to Mago. God, some of the people like we were just talking about like Bubsy's feed and make all kinds of disgusting jokes on there. If I do eventually, like, send over to Mago, oh, you're going to fucking love our commentary over it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. God, yeah. Which also reminds me, it's like, do you ever feel like that Mago and I would just bounce off each other's energy just to see who is more fucking disgusting and shit? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh, God. Especially with, like, oh, I don't know, like, 
I know I gave all of you fucking PTSD with the term chocolates. Uh. <laughs> oh, your fucking reaction to that. It's still fucking priceless. Or, oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Mago just saying, oh, wow, that's really nice. Ugh. Ugh. That's even worse. God, I know. Seeing that gumball comic, I, I wanted to fucking bleach my eyes. You know, that's saying something It's com if it's coming from me. Ugh. Yep. God. I swear, I love my curiosity, but I also hate it, you know. Oh, yeah. Eh, yeah. And nah, but honestly, though, uh, you were talking about the movie, per se. Uh, the movie that came out in 2006, really cringy, per se. What was the movie called? <clears throat> I wasn't going to say, but it's uh, Go Animate the Movie. Oh, my God. I remember fucking Go Animate. I was like a young kid using that bullshit. I was just fucking around on there. <laughs> the go animate the movie is... It's something. Oh, I bet. I like that, but also, you remember those fucking, like, Caillou, you're grounded videos? Yes. God, it was made like a bunch of, like, kids with just, just, just unsupervised internet access, and they started making these, like, Caillou, you're grounded videos. I was like... What the fuck is this mental rot of a fucking community I'm watching? Ugh. I, I, I swear, it's like every single time I see those videos, it's like someone is trying to put like like a, a brain running disease. It's like they're trying to inject me with like some form of like pathological mad cow disease where my brain is just rotting away and it feels like it's going to sludge. It feels like it's going to like throw up out of my fucking mouth. You ever feel that? Yes. God, yeah. What was that certain feeling that made you want to throw your brains out? You know, throw your brains up, you know, per se. What was a certain video or a certain movie that made you feel? Uh, like, because it's bad or because it's uh, just really off? Um, I'd say, like, first, maybe something bad, and then the next thing that could be something off, per se. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, that, that, uh, that Our Drawings movie really fucked me up for how bad it was. Like, holy shit. God, I feel like it, it felt like an awful acid trip. Yeah. <laughs> but for it looks so... stuff, uh, Salad Fingers is really weird to me. Oh. And it makes me feel oh, I love Salad gross. Fingers. I love Salad Fingers too, but it makes me feel gross. God, honestly, I just liked it because it just creeped people the fuck out. And I was just laughing my fucking ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the God, two new episodes? Yeah. Oh, dude, I haven't. No. They're they're pretty interesting. The last one is... It's something. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, speaking of, like, off-putting videos, have you ever watched, oh, I don't know, any videos from the channel Treats for Beast? No, I haven't. No, a beast for treats. And uh, it, it treats for treats. Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, you ever seen that fucking video, uh, you know, that goes, who wants to know aren't you and bones? You know, that little, like, marshmallow head, like, fucking, like, fucking smiley face head thing? No, I haven't seen that. Okay, no, no. Look up uh, treats for beast, and you will just have a fucking, like, surreal mo moment. It's like, this guy would make, like, a very like sort of like catchy music but at the same time it's like very eerie creepy and he would do like ms paint drawings of like certain animations and honestly looking at it, it it's just so creepy you know uh, just uh, let's see here wow there's a lot of videos on this channel. All right, which ones do you see? Go go all the way to the bottom. <clears throat> uh, the very last one is Who Wants to Gnaw on Human Bones? That's the video I was talking about. Yeah, give it a watch. <laughs> I want to see your reaction. All right. Uh, that 
was certainly a thing. Oh, yeah. I, I like the comment. The top comment is uh, 2009. Oh, man, this is kind of freaky. 2019, you have entered the comedy zone. Uh, yeah. God. <laughs> I swear, some people... I can't believe this channel's still uploading videos after 14 years. Honestly, that's some dedication. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of channels like that, but at the same time, it's like, they're like popular channels, but this one, it's more like, it's not as popular as like the other popular channels that keep on recording videos, you know? Yep. God, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, not like that, but also, it's like, Treats for Beast, it definitely has more of my vibe, you know? Yeah, I can see that. That's definitely your zone. Uh, let's see here. Look up the I Love Jesus one. Okay. Jesus, okay. So, how do you feel watching this video at the, at the current moment? Um, it's, it's very accurate to Christianity when you peel back all the layers. True, yeah. And also saying, I will boil entrails in his name. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, dude. This fucking channel, definitely. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, look up Treats for Beast, uh, The Sound of Screaming Babies. It's a strange song, but it's honestly really catchy. Okay. I think Mega would really like this channel. No, oh, I know. You can see why I love it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm not finding the one you told me to look up. Yeah, it's not in the list. Oh, no, it's like in a, in a different video, uh, but I'll send you uh, the video link to this specific part. Okay. Okay, sound is screaming ba babies. Ugh. Fucking Subway sandwich. Oh, my God, I had Subway for fucking dinner. It was good, but God, it makes me sleepy and have make makes me get the hiccups. <laughs> okay, found it. I'm gonna send it over to you. All right. Uh, there we go. Come on, don't go over there. I want to click on the fucking profile, you piece of shit. There we go. All right, there you go, Justin. All right, I got it. Awesome. Thank you. 
baby scream So I am pregnant when As much as I can <laughs> You spread your screaming baby Across What's the Do you like it so far? It, it's actually kind of catchy I told you, I told you it's catchy <laughs> Oh my god. Like if we made an entire album of music like this, I would immediately download this and just listen to it every single day at work, at home. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the sound of screaming babies. I love the sound. It is true. I love the sound of screaming babies. I love the sound. How about you? Oh my god, I have that song stuck in my head for a whole while. <laughs> yeah. Now, but speaking of YouTube, um, what would you say was your earliest days on YouTube? <clears throat> I started watching YouTube in 2014. The first channel I found was Jacksepticeye. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? All right. Back, back in 2014? Yep. I remember watching uh, YouTube back when in 2007. Uh, 2007. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, oh, I've God, seen YouTube yeah. once or twice before that. I have really early memories of uh, fucking uh, a Shane Dawson video I watched at a friend's house. It was the uh, everybody unsubscribed to Fred video. Oh, God, I remember that one. <laughs> God, you remember when fucking Shane and Fred were popular back in the day? Yes. Oh. God, it makes me think, you know? Mm-hmm. The internet's changed a lot. All right, hot... You know, hot take? I feel like people hate on Lucas, Lucas Krushink, the person behind Fred. I think people hate on him... For the wrong reasons, per se. Yeah. Like, just don't get me wrong. Fred, it's not good content, but at the same time, you got to remember this. Before Lucas Cruikshank became this big-time celebrity on the web, he was just some regular kid making videos at his cousin's place. And, you know, it's sort of like back then, when a person like that could gain so much fame from making videos like that, it does give people a bit of hope. It does give people motivation to say, hey, I can do better than that, you know? Yep. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nowadays, you know, I think, you know, the whole, like, oh, I don't know, like, average person becoming, like, a well-known internet celebrity, I think that's kind of, like, becoming less and less of a goal, per se. I mean, not entirely. There's still that goal, but you know what I mean, you know? <clears throat> Everybody wants to be the next Mr. Beast, and... Oh, God, yeah. That's a shitty Being goal. A <laughs> It is a shitty goal, honestly. Being a billionaire and just then just throwing your money away, just saying, "Oh, we spent a hundred thousand dollars on on crack cocaine and gave it to the homeless," and you know. <laughs> I, I don't have yeah, a problem no with Mr. Beast personally, but I feel like people need to try to do something new and not uh, try to do the same thing or have the same goal. God, yeah. Or try to rip off Mr. Beast or something, you know. Yeah, it's there's, like there's a lot of Mr. Beast clones. I, I don't think Mr. Beast is a bad guy per se. I think he's a decent dude, but honestly, you know, I feel like his type of content has become a little too oversaturated. Yeah. Yes. Oh God, yeah. Not like that, but also it's just it's like. The YouTubers that I liked growing up, you know, were not just like Fred, but also like, you know, those Try the Unicorn and, you know, those like uh, Llamas with Hats videos and Hell stuff. Hell yeah, Llamas with Hats is amazing. God, those videos were so great. So much animation on YouTube, like ONING, uh, Ego Raptor. Yep. They were so great, you know? An animation like that, you know, it did give a lot of people, especially, you know, when those animators came from Newgrounds and stuff. Yep. <clears throat> And seeing them just come over and transition from new grounds to YouTube and, you know, gain a whole lot of popularity like that, 
And of course, uh, do you remember those like reply, reply girls and stuff? Yes, I remember seeing videos wow. about them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, you know, in some respects, you know, I think they were smart in what they were doing, and you know, sort of like Alano showing off their, you know, their uh, their who, their ooh, there's their 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 uh, milk of life, you know, their 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 uh, <laughs> their, their lovely milk sacks. <laughs> God, I am horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> to anybody who's watching this, to too many women, I apologize. I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I mean that, but you know, it, it's just like, you know, those reply girls actually made the whole entire like algorithm what makes a video like pop up, you know, entirely change because people were just sick of the rep reply girls. Yeah, and honestly, I, I'm just like. Wow, to think like it's something so minor is like reply girls. I, I I don't know. I think trying to make like a minor a nuisance, you know, uh, make it seem like a big bigger problem than it is, and then suddenly have it backfire on you to make it like impossible to like get get Olano any sort of views based on the length of your videos. It's just you know it makes you think, you know. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just. Um, you know, how do you feel about the new management, you know, when Susan Wojcicki well, just left uh, YouTube and stuff? I'm nervous about the new management of YouTube, just specifically because he's a crypto bro, tech bro type. And that makes me oh, worried God. for the future of that, YouTube. That... God, this makes it worse. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. God, yeah. You know, I just realized. Hmm. We are a year away from celebrating the 20th year of YouTube's creation. Holy shit. I know. It's crazy. Not like that, but also, I just realized that 4chan is 20 years old. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. It's like all these sites, you know, these sites that just popped up, you know, during our time and stuff like that, you know. They're just getting older and older. We were celebrating like the ten year anniversary. I'm just we were just like in deja vu, like holy shit. And I was gonna be the twentieth. It's like holy shit. Gotta love how Imagine 4chan that. hasn't changed at all in twenty years. Yeah. But at the same time, you know. I feel like 4chan in a certain aspect has aged like fine wine, you know, when it comes down to certain boards or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Some boards have aged really well. Other boards are piles of shit. Oh, God. Like, pole and shit. Yeah, I, I, I was on pole for five minutes, and I I couldn't stand it. Oh, and B, too. Yeah, B has really gone downhill. Uh, I mean, yeah, 4chan was always shit. But, damn, this is just a new low for them. Yep. God, yeah. Uh, but... You know, in our lifetime, there's going to be a time when 4chan will be taken down. Yep. And on that day, that'll be an end of an era and stuff. I mean, remember this. Almost every single meme that we've gotten had came from or was spread by 4chan, you know? Yep. I mean, think about this. Rick Rolling originated on 4chan. Mm -hmm. It has gotten so big that was it was even fe featured on a Disney movie. I mean, it's, think about that. Like, meme culture that originated from, like, places like something awful in 4chan has really reached to such a global, recognizable level. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. I know, yeah. But at the same time, once you look back, you know, on the gradual evolution of memetics, it honestly makes kind of a lot of sense, you know, especially with millennials and Zoomers just growing up and adapting to the entire internet, you know, it just it sort of made the entire concept of memes just more and more popular. Yeah. I can remember me memes being a niche thing, you know? Oh, yeah. God. <clears throat> it makes you think what's going to come next, you know? Speaking of that, what was your favorite early meme, per se? Early meme. Uh, the, the, 
I forget the name of it, but the Contemplative Raptor. Oh, Velociraptor. Yes. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I think my favorite meme is uh, definitely all your base are belong to us. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Oh, God. My fucking beat is catchy as fuck. <laughs> God, I can still make out. Like, I tried to do the voices for, like, the dialogue and just go, what happened? Someone set us up the bomb. We get signal. How are you doing? <laughs> you cannot survive. Make your time. Ha, ha, ha. God. <laughs> like, knowing the origins of that and how it was just mistranslated into just that. And it just turned into, like, like this pig meme. It was like, ugh. Eh, really makes you think, you know? Mm-hmm. God, I feel like I'm getting yeah. old just talking about this. You're getting old. Yeah. I just turned 25. I, I met you when I was, like, 20 or 21. True. Yeah. We're all getting old. Okay, tomorrow ain't gonna be yesterday, you know? Yeah. Next year, gonna be 20, 29 plus 5, and I'm gonna be 26. I mean, I just think about that. You know, we've known each other for a long time, and, you know, we've experienced a whole lot, you know, both good and bad, you know. And frankly, just knowing about what happened, honestly, I honestly don't regret those experiences, you know. Yeah, I can understand that. <clears throat> yeah. Although, noticing how I sort of, like, simmered down, sort of, like, my humor and whatnot. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, you've you've calmed down quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just kind of, like, growing out of it, you know, trying to simmer down and stuff. I, I guess, like, when you do too much, it just becomes stale, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Plus, I don't know, maybe, like, a few events in my personal life sort of, like, change my perspective and whatnot. I don't know. And nah, uh, but honestly, you know, I remember just saying all kinds of crazy shit back in the old podcasts and whatnot, you know. Is trying to get like a certain laugh or a rise out of any of you, especially Vic. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. Uh, I mean that, but also, uh, let's see here. Um, I still got to do those music reviews per se. You know, like uh, like the like that sissy spacek one. That was so good. That was fucking oh. amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. I actually did it in our under like I don't know, maybe like ten minutes or something. Yeah. God, yeah. Honestly, it was just like a low effort, like short music review, you know, just straight to the point, you know. But still, it was just so fun to make, you know, just screaming out the fucking titles and then ending it off with like a clear, like, equilibrium. <laughs> I cannot say the fucking word. Equilibrium. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. Oh, my God. So, uh, what are your future plans besides this podcast for, you know, like videos and whatnot? Uh, I want to play, I want to finish Silent Hill 2 and play Silent Hill 3. And, um, <clears throat> honestly, I don't know. I'm just waiting for creativity to strike. I've had an idea for future content, but I don't know if I can do it or not. So I'm still kind of debating whether or not I'm going to try it. Right, yeah. I, I kind of want to do um, response style videos, like the reaction responses. Like, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the channel Sir Sick. Uh, I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, it's something like that, where it's humor based, but it's like um, finding like conspiracy theories or religious nutters and just kind of riffing off of them and pointing out the flaws in their arguments. Right, yeah. I'm saying for me, if I were to make a channel like that, I would do like, I don't know, maybe like true crime videos, like Boz vs. the World or whatever. Oh, okay. Nah, but not like one of those videos where like, oh, I'm on some like, I don't know, I put the PDX saying, oh, this murderer is so fucking hot, I'm gonna fuck him. But, you know, that's the folks. God, I would see those types all the time, especially on Tumblr back in the mid-2010s. You know, like, oh, uh, 
Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold are so cute. You know, I, I would have just fucked them just so I could stop them from committing the shooting. I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Like that, but also they're saying like Alano that uh, uh that uh that one El Paso no no, not the El Paso shooter. Um the the, the one in um I'd uh, I maybe put on a list list, but I'm gonna have to look up the shirt names. <laughs> I know, I know. Like I'm trying to remember shirt names, and I'm just like FBI, please, please. This is for a different context. Like when I looked up how to make meth for educational purposes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, so. All right, here's a Wikipedia article. Rain. Okay, no, no, no. Oh, not that one. No, no. No, no. No, no. FBI, if you're watching this, I do not endorse school shooters of any kind. <laughs> No, no, no. All right. Okay, no, not Elliot Roger. No. No, not that one. I mean, Elliot Roger was like the key, like proto incel and concept, you know. <laughs> yep, I know all about him. Uh, thank you, Monkey Jones. Yep. <laughs> God. It sucks that they just took down his channel. I loved his channel. I'm glad that he's still on YouTube, but his new content isn't as good. Oh, definitely not. No, it doesn't have the same amount of feels like his Diary of a Wimpy Kid videos. Yeah. God, you remember those? Those were fucking amazing. Hell yeah, Monkey's anime reviews, uh, the survival guides. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the send hook shooter, Adam Lanza. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would see girls just saying, oh, Adam Lanza, you know, he was so cute and so smart. I want him to be my autistic BF. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Eh. <clears throat> God. Yeah, just hearing a woman talk like that makes my dick shrink. Mm. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard some fucked up shit, especially on Tumblr. You'd think Tumblr would be a uh, semi-sanitized place, but no. Oh, definitely not. No, no. Uh, I met Speaking a girl on Tumblr. Tumblr. You remember that whole... What? Yeah, yeah. I met a girl on Tumblr, remember... and she told me um, that her biggest fantasy was to go on a killing spree with a guy, and then to, uh, after the killing spree was over, that they slice each other's throat in unison. Like a murder, double suicide, the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? I mean, it's okay to have fantasies, but there's some fantasies you should probably, like, keep to yourself. Yeah. Like, honestly, I think maybe she was trying to fuck with you, but then again, there are a lot of weird people on the internet, you know. <laughs> surprise, surprise, yeah. <clears throat> No, but I see other people just sort of like, oh my god, but also, you know that Christchurch shooter? Oh, yeah. God, I would see so many, like, I don't know, white Tumblr girls just saying, no, oh, I want to do a 1488 sexual, uh, just, uh, repopulation of the white race with this guy. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Say the fuck away from me. Oh. <laughs> my god. I swear, the internet just brings the worst out of people. It really can. Yeah, definitely. I swear. Maybe, you know that whole, like, discussion if Steve Jobs, like, ruined the internet or something? Like, giving people, like, smartphones and the ability to, like, access the internet easier without a computer or something? Oh, yeah, I've heard that argument. You know, I hear it... You know, I've been thinking about it for years and years. I think as years go by, I think there's a lot more merit to the idea than anyone has given it credit for. Because honestly, you know, 
before like smartphones, the only people who accessed the internet were like those like stereotypical like tech nerds and whatnot, you know? Yeah. People who actually had a lot more understanding and had a lot more etiquette on the internet. Not saying they're perfect, you know, definitely not. Especially like those dark web browsers and shit like that. Ugh. But at least they had like a style with it, at least they had a know how. Yeah. Whereas like oh I don't know, a lot of these like I don't know, just people with no like computer tech etiquette or anything like that. They just throw their shit at the wall and just expect like oh I don't know. Like something to be there or something to be praised by. And frankly, you're just throwing shit on the fucking internet. Like what the fuck? The the internet has a way of changing people that's not great. Oh, definitely not. Nope. It has the power to turn and give people all kinds of great knowledge. Or it can turn you into a fucking crappy online motherfucker who needs to touch grass. You know, PSA, please touch grass, all right? There's more to life than just watching fucking, like, your favorite, like, fetish porn and kind of paying your foot fetishes. Your, they're only fans or something. <laughs> Yeah, which kind of reminds me, you remember that one time I talked about this one foot fet, uh, foot fetishist guy contacting me on Twitter and stuff like that? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, so this guy by the name of Foot Lovin' Josh, I said, you know, on my Twitter that I had side 16 feet, which I do. And he's like, oh, you do? Can I see your feet? And I was just like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, you can definitely see some 16. You can see this uh, 16 foot size block. So I blocked him. <laughs> and, I look at his and it's like him just putting his fucking mouth on like women's toes and shit and I was like the fuck Ugh. like I'm not king shamer or anything like that you do you but at the same time I'm just like you know maybe you should just respect people's boundaries and shit yeah. Otherwise, if it's just like a an account where he's just fucking around, and yeah, sure, that's kind of funny. But if he's not actually like serious about it, then God, who the fuck raised him? Yeah, I feel like when it comes to fetishes and kinks and whatnot, uh, if you're gonna ask people to fuel your fetish, you should like know them and make sure they're comfortable with it before you start asking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're not comfortable. Respect that. I've never understood how someone can just go up to a random stranger and be like, hey, baby, show me your feet. Oh, you know, hey, baby, to get the shit in this my mouth. Yeah, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just like... I, uh, like, like, for example, I try not to be judgmental of people's kinks and whatnot, but you have to have a great level of self-awareness to know how fucking weird your kinks are. Yeah. And it's just. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but I have been talking. I have been walking around in my kitchen in my fucking underwear, and I have not lived a single way. <laughs> And I know some of you motherfuckers uh, out there are imagining that, you perverts. <laughs> God. Nasty people. Yep. What, you're trying to spit for me, you know? Especially you, Vic. Fuck you, Vic. But not in that way. No. I don't want to chop pop your cherry. Uh, Vic won't watch this. Maybe he'll... Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. But either way, I'm still not going not gonna to pop his cherry. <laughs> Despite me teasing him about it. Vic, just because I say I want to pop your cherry doesn't mean I actually want to pop your cherry. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> uh, I can get you a cherry pop. Would you like a Dr. Pepper cherry flavor? <laughs> oh, my God. God, we give Vic a whole lot of shit. He's like the major punching bag of our all of our groups. <laughs> He sets himself up for it. Yeah, he was asking for it. You hear that? You were asking for it, Vic. <laughs> Guys, why yeah. is my name red? Is this supposed to be male or female genitalia? 
or you know uh let's see here stop sending me fucking uh, pictures of like anthropomorphic animals that look sexy and i'm just like <laughs> fuck the cheetah <laughs> Or, you know, he would just go on and on about his favorite animes and his favorite death metal records. And I'm just like, you know, I like anime and death metal too, but I'm a chat about it. You, you're the virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember that fucking Hamster Vic fucking drawing that I did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, that was so fucking funny. And him just getting all pissy about it. I'm just like, hey, don't get pissy at me. Hamster Vic is a better Vic than you. <laughs> like, it's not my fault that Hamster Vic has a better personality and knows what a vagina is. Hamster Vic. That sounds like a weird, like, German name. <laughs> I swear, in this entire podcast, I'm just rambling on and on, mostly due to my ADHD. Well, a while ago. And then fucking, like, Justin over here is just going, yep. Yeah, Yep, maybe uh, a few add-ons. He's just got making a few chuckles and whatnot. Uh, I, you got something to add on? I have, I have only had four hours of sleep. Don't expect a lot from me. Hey, dude, we're recording, all right? I'm just trying to shoot the shit, you know. I'm trying to improvise, you know. This is a podcast. Yep. Gotta make sure this is uh, worth watching. You now, should I just do a little bit of vocal stimming? Just going, ooh, da da do da do 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 do. <laughs> or, you know, just spread my ass cheeks so you can all see my brown pussy. My brucey. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, I know. Or should I just, uh, maybe I should promote my OnlyFans. You have an OnlyFans? Not actually, no, but I'm, I've been thinking about it. You know, just taking some good old sexy pics in my underwear. You know, just be like, yeah, you want this ass? You want this package? I'm the UPS delivery guy. I'm the one who's actually your daughter's father. Oh, my God. <laughs> or, you know, just be like, hey, you know, I got a package for you. Happy birthday. You want to unwrap your present? <laughs> Oh, good lord, I am fucking horrible. I, I think we've got enough for an episode. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Anyway, I love you all. This is Tony from the Half-Ass Podcast. Yeah. And uh, I don't and know this who this yeah. other motherfucker is. <laughs> I'm yeah. All I say is yeah. All right, you all have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.